so good afternoon students so today uh, again i am going to give you a video on the topic ways to multiply and divide and this time some of the words problems based on division uh, debashi sir has already done some of the problems based on division and also given you the homework and today um, few of the sums i will give you and also some of the homeworks i will give okay and after this video you can download the pdf from the school website so let's start so as you can see uh, the first question you can read what is the first question given here 352 children from a school went on a campaign trip each tent had a group of four children so they are going to some campaign and they are they are staying on tent and each tent they have a group of four children so now there are the three questions number a how many children did each tent have number b how many tents do they need and number c how many children in all are in the school so based on the given informations you have to give the answer so first you have to read the question very carefully so the answer of the first question is how many children did each tent have so already the answer is given in the question each tent have a group of four children that means how many children did each tent have your answer will be four children because it's already given next one is how many tents do they need now see total 352 children and each tent we have four children so number of tents will be 352 divided by 4 and if you divide so your number of tents will come 88 the last one how many children in all are in the school so it's already given in the question so how many children in all you have 352 352 so only this question number b you have to find out and question number a and c the answers are given in the question itself first you have to read the question question 2 a shopkeeper has 204 eggs he puts them in egg trays so you have seen the trays where the eggs are put okay each tray has 12 eggs so only question a is there how many eggs egg trays does he need so shopkeeper total 204 eggs each tray in each tray you can put 12 eggs so how many trays does he need so how many trays does he need so simple what you have to do for how many trays you have to divide 204 divided by 12 so this one i have done in the next page so this one okay so as you can see number of egg trays will be 204 by 12 and if we divide your answer will come 17 so number of trays needed 17 next question shamoli bought a battery she read on it life to she read on it life 2000 hours she uses it throughout the day and night so how many days will the battery run Now, what is the meaning of this? So, Shamali bought a battery. On it, it is written "life two thousand hours." The meaning of "life two thousand hours" means if we use the battery throughout the day and night, the battery will run for two thousand hours, and after that, it will get exhausted. So, she uses it throughout the day and night. Throughout the day and night means twenty-four hours she is using. So, how many days will the battery run? You have to just write out how many days. So what is the statement? Life of battery two thousand hours. It's given one day twenty four hours. That means throughout the day and night means one day twenty four hours. Therefore, battery will run for. You have to just divide two thousand divided by twenty four, and if you divide, your quotient will come eighty three, and remainder will come eighty two. Sorry, only eight. Quotient eighty three and remainder eight. Now, what is the meaning of this quotient and remainder? Since you are dividing twenty four. so this 83 days and the remainder is 8 hours that means actual answer is 83 days that mean the battery will run for 83 days and 8 hours but 
according to the question you have to write down only the number of days so your answer will be battery can run for 83 days here you see only you have to write down the number of days that means the battery will run for 83 days only no need to write down the hours okay so i think uh, from ncrt all the questions are done and this one is the homework you can see first you go through the video then you download the homework because the pdf already i have uploaded in the school website so download the pdf and do the homework and send me okay so thank you